it just I'd like to take a minute and just maybe give you a, a, a hint on using your multimeter. So the first thing I want to talk about is using your multimeter on ohms. So if I put it on ohms and I hold my leads apart, you can see I'm reading OL. And what is OL telling you is the fact that the resistance between the two leads is so high it's unmeasurable. If I touch the two leads together, you can see I get a zero 0.12. What is that telling us? That tells me between the two leads I have continuity now. The thing you want to get in the habit of is anytime you're going to use your ohm meter for checking out continuity, you want to check your uh, what your meter's reading and add that to your or subtract that from your reading and you'll know if you've got a good reading. The other thing that quite often happens is guys hold the lead and you can see now how my body is changing the reading the meter. So you know they'll hold the meter by and the component in their fingers like that and you can see the resistance in my body is quite high. So with the leads like that I'm actually adding the resistance of my body into it. So you always want to have your leads like this on the component. Now in order to use the ohm meter we actually have to de-energize the circuit, remove the component and do our measuring. Would it not be a little hintful or helpful, I guess might be a better word to use, if I could do the same thing, check for an open or continuity without having to de-energize the circuit or pull the component out. What I've done is I've switched to my volts DC. And you guys can see now, what are my two leads doing is actually you can see I'm getting a fluctuation of voltage on the screen. And actually what my leads are doing is actually measuring the magnetic field of the earth. Again, it's just an open. If I touch the two leads together, you can see I get a zero, zero, zero continuity. So now by using my meter on volts, I can actually look for opens or continuity in circuits without having to de-energize or remove components. One other tip I'd like to add in is as you're doing your measuring, we've always taught you to touch your probe in one place, you touch your probe in the other place, take your reading and record. In this time in your career, everything we've done here at school, everything is brand new, that you don't have any corrosion or anything like that. As you start working out in industry, as you start working on probe, we're going to start to see corrosion and dirt and things come in. Get in the habit of actually measuring your component three times and then take an average of the reading. And what you'll find is you'll get a much more accurate reading by measuring three times and taking an average.